photography. Uh, it's always been something I loved. There's no real time I can tell you that I remember not loving it. It's not something that consumed my life until now. But I've always loved it. When I look through my lens, when you narrow it down and that one specific moment, that one little thing, that is when it really means that much more to me, you know, just to get it down to that little one aspect. I take pictures of the things that make me happy, things that remind me of things that are joyous in my life. And if I can present those images to others and it brings joy to their life, then it makes me even happier. I, I, at one of my very first exhibits, a lady came into the gallery and Literally, one of the pieces had her so moved that she started to cry. And I talked, went and talked to the lady, and the lady expressed how much joy the image brought to her. And that brought so much joy to me because that is who I am. Uh, back in high school, I would carry my father's camera, a <laughs> Canon, kind of like I'm using Canon today, but um, a, different, a different time. We didn't have digital them time there, you know? I would take my father's camera to school. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't have any way to learn it except to just do it. And uh, I would take the camera. I would obviously, first of all, focus on taking some pictures of some pretty girls. What ended up being my joy in it was not just taking pictures of the girls, um, but actually just sort of capturing the spirit of what was happening on campus. And you know, I still have those images printed and look back at them sometimes and laugh and say, yo, look at what I was doing. But then at the same time, it's not very different from what I'm doing right now because um, definitively that's what I do. My, my whole spirit and actualization of photography as art in my life is going out there into just everyday life and taking pictures of people just doing what they do naturally. Pieces of Jamaica, that's, that's my love. That's, that's my number one. I, I, I wish I could live that every single day. Um, and maybe I will one day. Uh, so we, we continue to try to forward with, with, the, with, the, with the motion of it. So Pieces of Jamaica, what, what is it? To me, I want to capture and hold dear to my breast and to my heart those images that are Jamaica today, yesterday, and those that are coming in the future. Because really, you know, it, they're all beautiful. There's just so much wonderful things that are happening in this beautiful country of, of mine that um, you know, to not do it is, would almost be you know, a bad thing. I have to continue to do it. As long as I am able to, I will be doing it. As long as there's space and, and energy that I feel the positive vibrations to take the pictures, I will do it. What is somebody pushing a cart down the street because that's what they do, they sell weird from a cart. This is one of my pieces of Jamaica. What this is all about is um, very proud tale of many, many years, as is indicated by this wonderful sewing machine that he's using. Um, you know, a, a replica of, of, of our memories from our childhood. You know, this is how you, you get really sucked into a memory. This piece you now is closer to my heart than most of the other things because it was a show, a strong show of our culture. And to, to even magnify the strength of the culture in the scene is everybody in this dance scene is moving. They're enjoying themselves. No one is paying attention to him and his fire flame. So it was a true representation of our culture and how we celebrate our music and the vibe of the dance. This is a wonderful picture. Nothing special. This is a beautiful black woman, natural Jamaican queen. It's just, you can't do better than this. This is just beauty in its natural state, utmost. Um, just shining through, you know? And I love that. I want every different part of Jamaica to have been represented by my photography. It's like, yo, it's just so important because unless somebody else is doing it, um, I think I need to do it. And I haven't seen anyone else approach this as yet. I'm sure there are other people who have thought of it and maybe even some people who are doing it, but I haven't seen it and they haven't shared it with the world and I want to share it with the world. I want and I find that it's, it's critical. It's something that we have to show to everybody is what is the beauty of this country, Jamaica. It's a special place and uh, if we don't do it, then we're robbing everybody of what they should know about. I'm hoping that the images that I show people can show how just the simplest thing that you may walk past every day and don't even recognize 
It's just another powerful, beautiful thing that is wonderful for everybody to see. So that is kind of where I am, you know. Shout out to all those other photographers in Jamaica. We walk and we try this together. Sometimes 30, sometimes 50 of us just walking into a neighborhood or into a community and capturing all that we see. I love that too.